respected chairpersons and dear friends thanks to the attd scientific committee apart from this being a study this is more of an experience sharing using a new device from india the freestyle libre pro these are my disclosures among the two variants of libre the one with the white reader the libre pro is the version which has been launched in india in contrast to the one with black reader which is currently available here in europe which is probably the true real that is a flash glucose monitoring this is the background of this study in the last three to four years, the overall measurement errors with a CGM had profoundly improved. It has become much more accurate. Econometric studies have shown that the extra cost you pay for a CGM when it is translated into clinical practice, when it is properly interpreted and when therapeutic and lifestyle measures are being implemented, it invariably will result in better outcomes and hence for the extra money you spend it brings better outcomes and hence it is cost effective in fact the cost to the society the cost to the patients could be much much more for failure to implement continuous glucose monitoring you pay more for uh, hospitalizations due to hyperglycemia you pay more for the costly complications the hospitalizations and the treatment for the costly vascular complications of diabetes let me go to the background of this study our center has got a multidisciplinary team since 1997 and we were using cgm as part of routine diabetes care since the year 2005 in the of 2011 we demonstrated continuous glucose monitoring as a beneficial tool in therapeutic decision making in type 2 three years later we went one step further we demonstrated the clinical utility of CGM as a powerful motivating tool in reverting pre-diabetes. It was in the March of 2015, Libre Pro was launched in our clinic in Kerala. We did a study simultaneously performing CGM with a time-tested iPro2 and with the Libre Pro in various types of diabetes. In the upper panel is the graph from Metronic Minimed iPro2 and in the lower panel from the Abbott Libre Pro, both with a documented marred mean absolute relative difference of close to 11% clinically fairly accurate. If you follow these glucose patterns, they are almost the same and even the outliers looks exactly replicable. So these are clinically fairly accurate. These were our primary objectives of the study to assess the improvements in the glycemic parameters at six months following Libre Pro for 14 days in type 2 diabetes were the secondary objectives to uh, explore the reasons for the failure of this device in a minority of subjects. These were the broad baseline characteristics, a total of 388 subjects with type 2 diabetes on various therapies, average age of 55, 70% of those were male with a baseline A1C of 7.6 and more than 60% of those patients were on insulin-based regimen. Our, after the continuous glucose monitoring with the Libre, our 
multidisciplinary team carried out modifications in the diet, in the timing or in the mode of exercise in the majority of patients. Many of them received recommendations on a change of therapies and uh, some of them uh, received recommendations on switching over to insulin pump. These are the results. A mean wear time of 12 days and absolutely no episodes of hypoglycemia, probably because of the confidence which was generated from the ambulatory glucose profile, which enabled the team to update the dosages of drugs to reach better glycemic levels and that too without that potential this is a change in A1C from baseline at six months, statistically significant reduction of 0.33 percentage. And this is the fall in fasting blood glucose. Again, the p-value is significant, at less than 0.0001. And this is the fall in the body mass index. Of a total of 388 patients who were deployed on Libre, there was a sense of failure noticed in 21.65% of which 3% had a primary sense of failure, which is defined as sensor in situ for 14 days. But when you download it, there is no recording at all. Among the 388 subjects, 66% uh, of them responded to our perception uh, questionnaire and majority agreed on the cost effectiveness of the procedure, uh, willingness to repeat the, uh, they appreciated the total uh, absence of glucometers and uh, finger pricks for calibration. Uh, and they also agreed on uh, the discrete and user friendliness of the device. The sensor falling off rates were extremely less. Uh, however, we dive into the uh, specific reasons for the device failure, uh, hitting on the doors or accidental wiping off uh, after taking a bath or during an oil massage. But if you look at those numbers of the first 100 patients versus the second and so on, uh, when we move on, we were gaining more experience. We were gaining more experience on uh, selecting the appropriate site for the sensor insertion. We were gaining more experience on providing the appropriate instructions to the patients. And thanks to those experiences, the failure rates were coming down. There were no serious allergic reactions except in one patient, one patient extremely rare, but it is a severe allergy and we were forced to remove the sensor on the third day. As an example, the prototype of a patient uh, at baseline and uh, on glargine metformin gliptin combination with profound post-meal glucose excursions despite a near normal HbA1c and this is six months after shifting to uh, a co-formulation of Degludec and Aspa twice daily, there's a profound improvement in the glucose variability in the overall glycemic burden and in the glucose stability. The AGP looks flatter and in conclusion, FSLP, the Freestyle Libre Pro resulted in better overall outcomes. However, it comes at a price. It comes at a price of additional and extra uh, efforts and time. I repeat, additional and extra time from the healthcare professionals and efforts from the patients. And this, I believe, is the major limitation using any technology in diabetes for better outcomes. Patients who underwent Libre Pro sensing in type 2 diabetes reached acceptable glycemic goals and that too eliminating the risk of severe hypoglycemia. 
thanks for your patient listening